Hey, it's Thursday. It's time for the Daily Bible Thought. And if you haven't figured out the theme already, I'm not going to tell you, but I think today's will probably give it away. And then tomorrow's is really obvious. But anyway, today's um, is so cool. I love this, but it's a whole story. And I can't tell you the whole story. I can't read all of it, or then it wouldn't be a Daily Bible Thought. It would be a day, Daily Bible Hour. And so want to keep it short, but you need to read Luke chapter 8. You need to read the story about this man who was possessed by demons and he had been a wild man. He had been chained up and he broke the chains. He had, he was a mess. He was not dressed. I mean, he was a wild man, literally. And, and people would just stay away from that area because they knew he was there. And, and then Jesus came and Jesus freed him from that. Jesus rebuked the spirits and they left him. And like when the people came and they saw him, he was with Jesus and he was sitting clothed in his right mind. He was restored completely. So that freaked the people out. And they asked him to leave, which seems backwards to me. But anyway, the people there in that region did not want Jesus to stay. But the man wanted to go with Jesus. Please let me follow you. He begged Jesus. Luke chapter 8, 38, 39. Oh, you hear my pretty bird singing? That's my bird clock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's a little bit of an alarm. So there you go. I think it's done. Luke chapter 8, verses 38 and 39. The man who had been freed from the demons begged to go with him. But Jesus sent him home saying, No, go back to your family and tell them everything that God has done for you. So he went all through the town, proclaiming the great things Jesus had done for him. He needed to go and tell others. He wanted to follow Jesus, but Jesus needed him to tell those who wouldn't listen to Jesus. But this man had a relationship. This man had a history with these people. And so they knew who he had been, and now they were faced with the reality of who he is now. What a witness, what an amazing testimony this man had to share. Now, I don't have a testimony like that. I, don't, I wasn't a drug addict, I wasn't, I, none of those things. I, I, I didn't have a terrible life before I came to Jesus, but I was a sinner. I was still in need of a savior and he has changed my life completely. And he has done things for me. He has called me by name. He has spoken to me in my spirit, not an audible voice, but I know he loves me. I know that, I feel it, I sense it, it's a reality. I practice his presence. I wanna tell others about Jesus. That's why I do these daily Bible thoughts every day. I want you guys, I want somebody who doesn't know him yet to know him to find out that he's real and that he loves them. He loves you. So I'm not telling you, but I mean, I did tell you, but the theme is pretty obvious this week. Tomorrow's is another one um, that wraps it up really nice for the week. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the daily Bible thoughts for this week with the theme. Maybe we'll come up with another theme next week. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Any verses you'd like to, to have on daily Bible thought? I'm open to suggestions, but I hope that you um, find some people who know your history and tell them how Jesus has changed your life.